What is up guys? It's 2022. Back again with another opening. Um I mean as you can see I still do not quite have a background and I'm still recording on my husky uh toolbox, the top of my husky toolbox. <laughs> hey you know at least I got it organized, you know what I mean? Uh but um yeah, I mean, I did put some something in the background, you know, just so you could admire, you know, a little something, something. Yeah, so I, I mean, I got two packages right here. Pretty, I'm not really happy on, on how the uh, seller packaged this one. Because he just basically threw in a little envelope. And I know I, I have told y'all in my last videos that um, if you're going to buy something, make sure to tell the seller to package your your pokemon cards or whatever you know collectibles real good he did put some tape on the corners so i guess but i mean that's still look look at this shit still not gonna work so if this card has any kind of damage in the corners or anything i am gonna ask the seller for a full refund because um it just it, this this should not be acceptable um this should not be acceptable at all um, I'm not sure if I'm going to open these two at the same uh, video or separate, um, but I, I really didn't like how he packaged this. Well, I mean, let's open it. Uh, let's see. Okay. As you can see right there, the card is right there. So let's open the package. Okay. Can okay, y'all take a guess what it is? Hmm. Okay, I'll take a guess at what it is. Drum roll. Eternius VMAX, baby. Check that out. I mean, he did put in a top loader. I guess that counts, but still, I would have liked it to be better packaged. Check that out. I guess he did put on a top loader on a, and, a, on, and on a sleeve. But like I said, I wish it would have been better packaged. Let, let me move this camera a little bit down. Sorry about that. Uh, like that. There we go. Let me take it out of the, out of this top loader. I really don't like top loaders. Um, I do have a bunch of them though. I will I will start giving away some stuff. Uh like all my extra spare top loaders. If you guys want them, let me know in the comments. I'll probably pick a random winner if I get enough comments. If not, it'll probably be saved for another video when we get more viewers. Uh, I'm just gonna take it off. Check this out. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. Check that out. Center looks pretty good. Pretty good, right? Check that out. Damn. It actually looks flawless. Could get a PSA 10. See, so this is what I'm doing now with my uh, cards that are probably most likely to get a PSA 10. This is what I'm gonna do. Check this out. Bam, baby. Put it on this on a case by itself, like this. Pretty cool, right? These cases, uh, you could buy them on, on Amazon. Um, I will tell you this, uh, they did come with like, I don't know, like that, like those little scratches is magnetic, which I like. Okay, it's, just, it's not a scratch, it's, it's just like a hair, but I mean, it does come with a few scratches as you can see. Not sure why they come like that, but, Hey, they do their job. You put 
You put your card at the bottom, fail. Put your card at the bottom. Oh, let, hold on. First, before I mess this card up, let me put that down. Put the card at the bottom <laughs> like that. Make sure it's centered. See those four corners? And then you just magnetically put it together. But I will tell you something about these. Um, for some reason, the card still moves in there. So you gotta be re real careful. Uh, the reason I don't want to put a penny sleeve is that um, like the penny sleeves, it kind of like, uh, I can't explain like the penny sleeve is a little bit too big. So it kind of like jams it together and kind of like kind of folds it. Wish I could show you. I might, I might show you in a little bit um, or maybe in another video. But I mean, other than that, these are good to protect your cards. Especially if you're gonna, if you know you might have a PSA 10 uh, hit. All right, let me take some of these leaves out. Um, so see, I got a, I just got an order of these in. Go delight. I like these. Just got an order of those. Um, like this. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh card, but works but for what i'm about to show you so you know this is um you know it's a card saver or you know whatever you want to call it card protector but check this out like i mean the card could still fold here like you know maybe by accident somebody folded or you know whatever the case may be this things could could still fold but right here see this one's can't so if you got a shot at a psa 10 i would recommend you to put it in one of these but they are pretty pricey for five of these i think i paid 20 or maybe 24 so about like five to six bucks each but i mean i think it's well worth the money so yeah i got a five pack right there. let's see like oh they're all in the back so i wouldn't be able to show you okay so uh, one and one and one of these videos, I'm gonna show you some of my Pokemon collection that is growing. Kind of, kind of want you guys to see that. Uh, okay. So on to the other opening. Let's open this. I mean, and again, I did. Better than this for sure than the than the package that this came in. Way better than this, but still not not the best. And I did want to point out that it was kind of my uh, fault that I did not tell them to uh, package them correctly. After I told you guys to tell your sellers to package them correctly, uh, I just got caught up at work. I worked 12 hours a day, so yeah, and work was pretty busy. So, so this card right here guys is a cream a la creme what do you guys think it is hmm? what do you guys think it is huh Thank you. Damn. I can't see. I can't really see where the card is. Hold on. I don't want to cut it. God damn, God damn. Okay, I think I know, but I, I'm going to have to grab my. Fuck. I'm going to have to grab my. um My uh, Milwaukee blade. Hold on. See, you see, you see that? I want to be real careful. Just a tip. That's what she, that's what I told her. Just a tip. Just a tip. It won't hurt. Just a tip. You know? Okay. 
Let me pull this out. Oh, yeah, this seller did tell me he was gonna um, throw in a, a, a extra card. Oh, actually, he threw in two. <laughs> he threw in one celebration. Check that out. A Sazian V. Appreciate you. And uh, Noi Baron V. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing them right. Uh, um, like, to be honest, guys, I did not see these, this generation of Pokemon. But hey, this is not it. That's not it. I thought that was that was it. Nope. No, sir. Here is the cream a la creme. Anybody want to take a guess what it is? Empty. This card costs average about a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars just raw. Da, 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 da. Alternative art, Rayquaza V, baby. Damn. Look at that centering, bro. It actually kind of looks perfect. Damn, I don't want to take it off, but I'm going to have to. <laughs> Damn, check that out, baby. Oh, shit. Damn. Wow. Let's check it out, guys. Now that is beautiful. Beautiful. Guys, did you know if this grades a PSA 10? And it might have a chance. Look at that centering. I gotta be careful with this card. Look at that centering, guys. Damn. It might grade a PSA 10. Uh, doesn't have anything that I could see no nothing no winding no nothing check that out that's just a little dust check that out wow guys this 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 is a beautiful card beautiful card damn wow I love it okay so if it grades, did you know if it grades a PSA 10, this could go for $600 to $700? Yeah, unbelievable. Even, even on a PSA 9, you could double your money. On a PSA 9, goes from $200 to $300. And raw, from $100 to $200. I got this one at $150. So... If I grade it, even if I grade a PSA 9, I will double my money. Even if, say, let me let me say that again. Even if I grade a PSA 9, I will double my money. If I grade a PSA 10, I will almost triple, quadruple my money. Then I gotta stop touching this card. <laughs> Damn. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the that's it for the opening. That's all I wanted to show you. Um, more to come so stay tuned and i will see you guys on the next one peace